So let's talk about your time with Samini. How much impact do you think it's had on the way you do things, including your stagecraft and all of that? Yeah, thank you. I think Samini, before we met, was a big name already. You know, was one of the top most, you know, artists. He still is. Mm. You know, he's, he's actually opened a lot of, you know, he's actually opened the Ghana music or our eyes mm. to certain levels because he started going international you know yeah all right in, in that era i yeah. think this is the thing that we shouldn't forget and mm. that's why you know he knows that he has been highly celebrated and respected in ghana mm. i learned i've learned a lot from him directly and indirectly yeah. which is to be that having the opportunity to be with him he would advise you directly you know i was like uh, on, I was like a, I was like his last brother, mm, you know. Okay. That's how he took me. Okay. That's how he he he, okay. we, we, he dealt with me. Yeah, you know, always happy and proud that I am many a thing. Mm. And you know, yeah. And you see, like you see a good kid that you're fond of, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, so we roll together. He advises me and all. Mm. Till today, I remember some of the things he told me in the sky when we were mm. together. Mm. He would warn you about how the media yeah. space is and how okay. you have to stay focused okay. and know how to take your, okay. your steps. Okay. So I have actually learned a lot how, you know, how? directly and indirectly from him as a musician and a person yeah. because I got the opportunity to, mm. to meet him. Snowboy, how do you think, how important is mentorship? Um, in in just general life development, you yeah. know, because I, I find that sometimes people feel as if they are being oppressed mm. um, under certain, you know, leadership yeah. and so on. And then sometimes to, um, you know, some people take advantage of the fact that somebody wants to come and learn and understudy them yeah. and, you know, and then maybe literally actually abuse the people. So, but talk about mentorship and for you, mm. how important has mentorship been in, for the next generation? Yeah. I think both ways you are right, mm. you know, you are right, that uh, it depends on who you get. Some people say their masters are good masters, some mm. people say their masters are bad masters. Some people, no matter how good you are to them, will still go and tell on you and say you're a bad person. Mm. Some people, no matter how bad you are to them, will still have that curtsy and respect to just take it the way they have to take it. So, for me, I think that it, 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 it all dies down to whoever is that apprentice yeah, okay. or whoever is learning the, men, the mentee. The mentee, yeah. Hey, mm. The mentee and the ment who It dies and because in the end, a mentor is, is, is ahead of you. Yeah. And you as a mentee, whether an apprentice or whatever, you are below the person. Mm. The way and manner you manage to get the best and get the blessings of that person mm. is very, very important. Mm. Okay. It's very, very important. So, Sometimes your boss or your mentor do they do know that this is who they are me I'm firm I'm strict I'm yeah. right just because you are who you are mm. but sometimes when they go home and they want to speak about you what would they say about you okay. whatever they say about you is, is that's, that's the most important thing yeah. like oh but with you are you good pa mm. see, see, see. because for them they know who they are and yeah. probably understand the things they may put you through and stuff but mm. the way you react to them the way you receive these things yeah. as a mentee mm. as an apprentice actually determines the love and the form of blessings that yeah. your mentor so mm. in a general uh, 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 language i think mm. it's how you comport yourself and show your true value because these things are supposed to shape in you yeah yeah but yeah. in ghana i think most often it is it is very you find it that the mentees and the apprentices they just they <laughs> they just want to <laughs> become the master in two days okay Okay. Now in our world, I'm yeah. not going to lie. People are in too much yeah. of a hurry. Yeah. Mm. 10, 20, 15 years ago, I think morals were very high mm. okay. than now. Compared to now. Okay. So we want to take a look at, uh, we'll talk through some of the awards and nominations that you've had over the years. Um, but let's take a look at one particular song, Rat Race. Mm. Um, <laughs> give us the, 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 the thinking behind that yeah, song. Right, uh, Rat Race was released in 2000, I think it's 2009 as well. Okay. That was the second single after Baby Hills and Valleys, okay. produced by JMJ as well. It's another beautiful love kind of song put mm. together. Was trying to, we were trying to merge a dancehall rhythm and that 
um, techno sound. So okay. you can understand that from a long time ago, I have been of that mindset of merging sounds together, okay. which came out mm. to be Afro dance out that I'm known okay. for oh, yeah. worldwide today. Yeah. The whole There's a day that you're going to perform. You've already signed the deal, the contract, whatever. You're going to perform. You have an injured leg. Mm. What, what's going through your mind as you know you're going to have to climb the stage? Mm. You're in pain. Mm. But you have to do this True. because not, not, not only are you just passionate about it, you're also very passionate about your commitments. Exactly. You know, so walk us through what it feels like in those moments as you're mm -hmm. deciding, look, mm -hmm. I need to do this. Yes. Um, I remember a number of times that only me and those close to, those close around me know that I'm aching, I'm in pain, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't let the opportunity go by mm -hmm. because yeah. you know, when yeah. you know that um, this is your hustle mm. and you have passion for it, that only teaches me um, determination, mm. perseverance, and endurance. Mm. You know, so having had all of these at the back of my mind, I've never given up. I, I've always, I've always, I've always not even um, succumbed to um, to criticism or insult or ridicule. Mm. I know I've had a few in the industry, yeah. but it just made me laugh because in this life, nobody is supposed to know you better than you. You should know yourself. So if you know yourself enough, imagine you know your head is big. <laughs> Somebody insults you with tickets here. You, you smile with it, a person. It, yeah. Because you, you, already you, know, you know, you, yeah. you know, you, already you know, your head is big already. Yeah. So that's just it. You keep going. And you keep finding ways in which, if you if it is that you want to make your head small, mm. because you've identified that already, you have a plan. Yeah. If it is that you admit and know what you're using your big head to do, mm. you're also confident and comfortable with it. So yeah. that's how determination. I've always mm. gone through that perseverance and carried my own cross. Yeah. Because I understood that was my cross. Other people have bigger crosses, yeah, okay. but this is mine okay. also to carry. Okay. So Anloga Junction. Hmm. That album is huge. It's beyond huge. Um, talk us through the the journey in putting together the album. Um, yeah, after after episodes of Mama, the album um, dropped in 2017. Mm. I've been doing a lot of work in and out of Ghana trying to still fix myself as an artist and a musician okay at the same time helping a lot of younger ones also and you know putting things in order you know i'm still doing that now all the songs i was recording i had a certain plan to um build up upon what i have done so far mm. and so i was just recording mm. i recorded in kuto on the album long time ago and then realized that we could that was produced by Daki we could put I I felt like it suited um the style of Kojo entry the legend so I'm only mentioning that song because it's one of the oldest songs on there on this mm -hmm. album to mm -hmm. tell you how far you know I was building the plan okay. to release such a masterpiece okay and I think I've been able to deliver so far mm -hmm. Looking at the songs on the album, the number of songs. So it was going to be 12 songs originally. Yeah. But I ended up choosing 15, selecting 15, not just me, me and my team, out of a, four, out of a 45 to 50 songs, <laughs> wow. you know, the nominate featuring Kerry Hilson, yeah. which uh, was produced by Grammy winner um, Dre Harris. You can check it out, Dre Bombay. He's produced from Michael Jackson, all up mm. to Chris Brown and all of yeah. that. So this is like... This has this like a, 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 a um, like um, a, a wrap up or it's just like a full mm. a full meal now for the time that we are in and I'm yeah. really grateful for having been able to put together that masterpiece the planning the promotion the you know the strategies and yes. all that you know so big respect to my team KV KV online um, Bernita Music Group and all the partners involved mm. you know I find. 
it's you see it's to me i'm almost thinking in terms of when i was in high school and what i knew about how many years ago was that, that was a long time ago we'll, discuss, we'll discuss that off air. <laughs> we'll discuss that off air. <laughs> um you know i was thinking about mj michael jackson okay and i literally i mean as i listened to the Anoga Junction album, the mm. different songs. Yeah. I'm almost drawn back into my secondary school days thinking wow. about some of the classics of Michael Jackson. You wow. know, and I think it's, a, it's an amazing thing. Wow. Um, you've done 10 million streams in one week from your album. On one on online audio mark, audio just mark only audio mark. Now I think it's more than it's, it should be around 13 million plus. Then you're you're doing um when we talk about nominate that's what do, that's also doing like over a million views crazy it's crazy you know i mean nominate for me i i watch the video and i'm just thinking the creativity the the what must have gone into creating that let me ask you at the point when you were shooting this video how long had you known Kerry Hilson for? Uh, I think a few months because we had recorded a song somewhere in November. Okay. And then we shot this video in March. Okay. So December, January, February, March. So okay. Some so I'm asking the question because the chemistry on screen it's looks great. genuine, Absolutely. looks authentic. You know, so yeah. I'm like, you don't even know her. Yeah. I, you, it's, tell me, walk us through, walk us through the process of putting such a masterpiece together yeah, um i mean from recording to how we from how we met to recording the the song and during the recording time you know we we have built a lot of chemistry and mm. you know from that time and we were we, we've been communicating before the time you okay. know so that i think was the mom these are the moments mm. where we were able to bond and connect as i speak i think she's a very great human being mm. a good spirited person you know a selfless person and a yeah. real person as well but i just want you guys to go on youtube you know v watch the video it was meant for you and that's the only platform where we can continue to you know you can uh, if the tv tv shows it within some period of time but on youtube you have full access subscribe to my youtube at stoneboy at s-t-o-o-s-t-o-n-e b-w-o-y and a storm on all my social media platforms for updates because there are a lot of things coming you need to know what next after covid what the plans are for the album locally yeah. and internationally and all these things you can even grab merchandise from the album you see this one says Man okay. Kaya, no okay. say, I be lazy. Okay. there's a line from a song journey mm. so you know the shop is situated in ashaman you don't need to go to ashaman dhl is living across every everywhere in the world you can just get the That's numbers amazing. on the beam shop page okay you know so you can be a part of mm. you know the movement the you can movement. grab anything beam to represent because that's yeah. what what we're about right now you know so yeah. this is new i think i'm wearing the first one Superman i know it looks good. Lazy. Yeah, it looks it's, good. It's, it's inspiring as well yeah. you know now just a quick minute as we wrap up um you're a family man too yes please your father your husband your father how uh, has it influenced <laughs> yeah, because man. you started off yeah alone, alone single man like that. Boy, yeah. we saw some of the videos yeah, yeah, the mindset, but now yeah. you know married man, man yeah. father and all of that yeah. how has that impacted your music um yeah man it has impacted my music in a positive way okay. a lot my creativity has actually continued to grow in the right way mm. you know and um owing to the fact that i have kids that will guide my thoughts in the sense that would i want to leave this what what sort of creativity would i want to leave behind when yeah. i grow old and they now are in their prime and what sort of image what sort of message would they be able to raise their heads up high and say that was my father mm -hmm. or would they bow their heads yeah, down no. in shame yeah you know and as well it wouldn't go only to the kids i have a beautiful wife mm -hmm. who's been really supportive as well this is the time i need to bring that family vibe mm. you know 
because there are different families yes. in the world. The world yes. is made up of different families. families yeah. So to grow to become a family person mm. is a beautiful thing as well. And I think that has to inform a lot of decisions. Many of us go to work thinking, as men, yeah. thinking to work hard to fend for, for families family. and leave good legacy. Mm. So it's, these are just the basic things that mm. have also inspired me to guide my career yeah. as a musician. So Super. definitely has had impact on Thank you very much, yeah. Boy. It's been yeah. wonderful talking to you. Um, Livingston Eche Satekla. Satekla. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, man. BIM. Bless, Bless his imperial, imperial majesty. majesty. Yes. Giving thanks every time for right. I don't know. <laughs> 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 yes.